بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay fine so the next thing we'll talk about the acl uh, statements configurations now probably in this now we decided to write an acl statement now before we go ahead with the configuration of the acls we need to understand a few more things like these are the rules as i said we'll be taking some example or scenario where we want to deny a specific traffic like in this case i'm going to deny the 1.1 user should not be accessing anything from 2.network and basically from 1.2 and and also from 3 to 2 i want to deny the communication and all the remaining traffic should be should be permitted now the first thing we need to decide okay now we we decided to write an acl statement but the question is which router you are going to configure that because we need we need to configure the acl either on the router 1 or on the router 2 or on the router 3 so that that has to be decided okay so now the question is which router we are going to apply now for that we need to follow some rules so on whichever the router you are going to decide we need to make sure that that particular should be a transit router and that interface where you exactly apply will be your transit interface as well it means just like if you take an example we have compared this acl with some kind of security guard let's say if you take a general day examples so you have a two gates in your company network let's say gate one gate two or let's say even gate three now if the acl is applied on the gate one and the people are going from the gate two that is not going to work so similar way you can compare this with the routers so if you have two routers and where you have applied the acl on the router one whereas the traffic the actual traffic which was supposed to deny if it is going from the router two that's not going to work so that's the reason I'm saying here that whatever the ACL you are applying, wherever you are applying, that particular router and that particular interface should be the transit interface. So which means how we can decide depending upon the rules. Like if you try to see this first two request. So here we are trying to deny the communication between 1.1, 1.2 host, these two hosts, 1.1 and 1.2 denying from accessing the two dot network let's say this two dot network is kind of server zone or server farm generally where you have placed your servers like a separate vlan or separate lan in your head office and likewise i have one more rule which is denying the complete communication between the three dot network going to this two dot network so which means as per these rules the first two rules if you check these first two rules so the traffic will come from here or you can say whether here or it, it's up to you you can take any source actually so it's going via router one and the router two before it reaches the actual servers or actual network and likewise if you compare the traffic let's say if it is coming from three dot network it is going to router three and then coming to router two again the router two here so if you just try to see these two uh, these two traffics if you just take the common part now in this common part is the router two. So which means uh, basically this is my, uh, assuming this is my destination and the nearest router to the destination is router two and whatever the traffic you want to deny is actually hitting the router two, right? So it hits the router two, which means the router two is a proper place where we can apply the ACL, okay? So this is how we need to decide. Uh, sometimes if you have multiple rules, maybe, you know, all, rules may not hit the router two, then you separate them just like in two parts and you have some rules applied on the router two and some rules on the router three or on the router four like that but basically here in my example the router two is the most common place where i can apply the acl so this is very important so when you are selecting the router that router must be the transit router now the next thing is we need to identify the source and destination so now we need to consider uh, in 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 this scenario like i'm saying this one dot network should not communicate with two dot network so so the traffic may be both ways like maybe you know this to one dot one user is sending a request to this server so then in that scenarios this will be the source and this will be the destination and if two dot one is initiating a request then they basically or when two dot one is replying 
or if it is replying or initiating, generally this will be the source and this will be the destination. So the, normally the traffic will be coming. Uh, now, which is source, which is destination, it all depends upon how we tell to the router. Because it's it's all how we tell to the router or how we see them. Basically, that's how you need to uh, that's how you need to write down the ACL statements here, the source and destinations. So basically, in case of extend ACL, you can write uh, in your own way normally because in extend ACLs, basically we we match the source and destination. So that is the advantage we get in the extend ACLs. But here in this example, we are using standard ACL, which is a basic ACL, and we have already discussed that the standard ACL is going to check only the source address. So which means when you're writing the ACL statements, we are not going to decide the destination. So when a packet comes to the, and hits the router, it is going to check only the source, and it is not going to check the destination address. So, so that's the reason I generally recommend whatever the common part you have, like here the two dot network is a common part as per the rules. Just assume that is your destination. And whatever the packets who are trying to access to that two dot network, that is your source. And when the ACL comes here and enter and hits the router, I want to deny 1.1, 1.2. I don't want to deny my own packets, right? Because I'm the destination. So generally, I suggest you think your uh, common part as a destination. And also as per the uh, recommended rules, standard ACL should be placed nearest to the destinations. So this is typically to avoid any kind of uh, unnecessary drops, like maybe there, there might be possibility that the traffic you want to permit may get denied, or maybe the traffic you want to deny may get permitted. So just to avoid that, I'll, I'll take some couple of examples during the configuration, why we do this a little bit more in detail. But basically that is something you need to decide. So we need to figure out that this is my destination. That's what I'm going to consider here. And the traffic which is trying to access to this two dot network or to this as my destination. So this is how I'm seeing. But of course you can, if you're taking this as a source, then basically this, this is going to be different because that might end up denying uh, some of the traffic also. So, so that's what I'm taking. Now, now let's say if I if I take this as a source, this as a destination, then basically how it's going to be. Uh, it depends again because that may this may not be correct as per this as per this rule. Why? Because let's say if this two dot one is trying to access send a request to one dot three, as per my rules, there is no deny statement between two and one because the standard ACL is not going to check the destination, it's going to check only the source, which means it's automatically deny all the packets coming from this two dot network, whether they are trying to access this 1.3 or 1.4 also. So that's the reason in this scenario, this is not going to be worked. But of course in extend ACL, you can use either way because we are defining a specific selected source and destinations also. So this is something you need to keep in mind while writing the standard ACLs. Uh, you need to check only the source addresses, which means you will be, you will be applying nearest to the destinations. Now again, finally, there is one more thing we need to know, the interface and the direction. So we'll talk about more on this when we get into the configuration. So right now I'm not getting into this. We'll try to get into this more after we write the rules. <clears throat> 